Whoa. <laughs> Whoa, that is a strong magnet. All right, let's see if we can stir this peanut butter that has the oil on top. That's always the problem. And I'm not sure it's gonna go completely down to the bottom of this jar. This has a lot of oil. My fingers are all oily. It might be best to stir this before you use this product. Yeah, there's no way that that's going to be able to stir this really thick peanut butter. So you need to stir the peanut butter first, which if you've ever used natural peanut butter, you know that it can take a little effort to get that first mix going because there's a lot of oil that you got to mix in there. And you really don't want to pour it off. You want to keep that oil because it keeps the peanut butter nice and creamy. Just takes a little bit of elbow grease. And once it's all stirred up, you can put this in here and you'll be good to go. Just like that. All right, it's time to try this out. I have the peanut butter with the simple spread knife inside. I've got some bread. I'm going to make myself a peanut butter sandwich. This has been sitting here since I stirred it up a day, two days ago. So, we're going to see what it's like to use this with natural peanut butter after it has set around for two days. Now, the magnet's still on top, and it's really tight. I mean, it does move around, but it's pretty strong. Okay, it's got the peanut butter on it. I can stir it up a little bit. If there's a little oil on top, it is stirring it because I stirred it with a regular knife. Now, let's see about making a sandwich. This might be a little messy because this is natural peanut butter. Now this knife you know, it's kind of hard to get it where you want it to go compared to a regular knife because I've got this lid on it. But you're watching me make a sandwich for the first time using this. I do have some concerns. If you're using crumbly bread and you make a sandwich with this and you happen to get breadcrumbs on the knife and you stick it back in the jar you're going to get you know it's going to kind of contaminate it you know what i mean but i'm not seeing any breadcrumbs so i'm gonna stick it back on here i can't say that it's better than using a regular knife yes you don't have to wash it after each use but using a knife you feel like you got more control because uh, the handle for this knife is the jar cap and that's not really comfortable it's not as easy to use as just using the handle of a regular knife. So while this might be good for kids, just because they won't be making a mess, I can't really say that it's something that I will continue to use. It's a cool idea. It's an interesting invention. 
But for me, as an adult and somebody who's picky about getting crumbs in their jelly jars and peanut butter jars, I'm afraid this one really isn't for me. Sorry, Simple Spread.